What's up y'all? Welcome back to our dumpster diving channel. We are outside of Atlanta in Georgia today and we just got to the first spot so let's see what we can find. <laughs> Is that back there? I, I, I realized I got it too soon. What are these? <laughs> Oh, they bent him in half? Oh, look. I bet it'll, uh, there. Kind of bends right back. It's got a little rope there that you can hang it with. Turkey stick with a bite on it. Yeah. Oh, nice! A little gnome ornament. Okay, that's all from that bag. So this bag had um, some. Oh, is this another one? Oh no, that's a partial bucket. It had a couple little things that I was trying to get out of there, but I pretty much got um, what I think was in there. So there's that move that box on top of it to help the wind not blow uh, the bag that we opened. So there we go. We got one little sign and one little gnome ornament. There's a big one up there, but this one we didn't want to check, but it's kind of chained up. They've got it like locked down. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, I see a candle down there and some posters in this one. I wanted to see this bag is like full of... Are they cut? Uh-uh, they actually didn't cut them this time. So this must also be five below. Red house. <laughs> <Neither>. <laughs> those posters uh, pretty often. This time they didn't slice them at all, so that's about 10 posters. Do you need to rearrange? We're just gonna pop two. I was trying to just put this here so we wouldn't have to do it. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to rearrange the truck bed in a little bit, but for now it's fine and we found some great stuff right there. So we're gonna go up to that big giant construction one. I could kind of see in this uh, door right here where you can like open it. I'm not gonna open it, but see in there. It's definitely stuff. Um, careful, cause this isn't locked. So if you move it, it'll move. What is this stuff? I'm trying to 
trying to see if there's a, there's no step or anything. You can step on that like the hinge. Okay. What is it? It looks like small trash. Okay. Well, this one kind of just looks like a big dumpster full of trash. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything. all fast food trash. This kind of looks like something. Yeah. It feels... Oh, look at that. Don't they feel wet? Look. Yeah, they're wet. I thought this one felt extra heavy. Oh, yeah. Oh, nasty. <laughs> no. <laughs> now we're moving on. Whew, it's kind of cold today. Okay, we're not sure if this store is even functional because there's no like signage anywhere. Oh, look at that, a chair. I think it's an office store. Nothing in there. What about this one? <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> okay, those are empty. Moving on! Okay, we are at a new store, new shopping division, but this is the only one that we'll check. And it is empty. Well, okay, nothing from that one. This is kind of a nice, pretty area though, back behind here. Driving through Georgia, um, it's really like beautiful trees. Alex can check that one over there. Yeah, oh! There's a jar of pickles. Oh, okay, nice. This is their trash. Oh yeah, there's a couple broken jars of pickles back there. All right, let me hook this up here. There's something pink right here. Too. Oh, here, I can grab this. Are you trying to move it? There's something in it. I know, so I was trying to grab it. I can't get to it because of that thing. It's a bunch of Dollar Tree signs. <laughs> Dented. Yeah. The lid's a little dented. Yeah, I can't get that one. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, nice. Uh, that one's been drank out of. Oh, uh, okay. That one's fine. Mm -hmm. Will you just oh, lift up that blue box top right there? Let's just. 
Okay, yeah, I think we got it all then. Yeah. <laughs> this dumpster is right here by all these cars. <laughs> There's a lot of people, but we got this box of stuff. I know you can't tell what that is just yet. <laughs> So, okay, this is one Powerade with a dented lid. No big deal at all. And this, I'm really excited about. Look at this big bag of clips. They were all in there, just like that. Here's a book and a little um, butterfly that you can paint or something. We got one little applesauce cup, or actually two cups right there. This is a dry erase foam block. Okay. These lotions, which these are scented hand creams, and there's two of them. This one is a watermelon one, which is pretty cool. And then yeah, this entire bag is um, full of these hair clips. They're really pretty. I use those too, so that's um, pretty awesome. I'm going to toss this box back. You don't need a box in the back of the truck that could fly out or something. So there's that. So that's pretty awesome. Um, that's a great find from today. Pull this back over it. <laughs> the, tarp's <laughs> the tarp's like, I know it's like getting all ratty at the ends. But we've been definitely using it. The tarp was a great uh, <laughs> mid-trip purchase, definitely. Yeah, that's a pretty awesome stop. I use those clips, um, but actually the one that I had found in the dumpster previously recently broken, so I'm glad to have found more. So that's awesome. Uh, we found some useful items as well as some donatable items, and I guess we're gonna be moving on. two hours and we are now here in Birmingham, Alabama. We um, have a couple hours to stall until we can actually check in at our hotel and so we might as well do a little bit more dumpster diving. So we just got to this uh, dollar store. I haven't looked in yet. Let's see. Mm. Doesn't okay. it smell kind of like chlorine? Yeah, it smells like bleach. It does. It smells a lot like bleach. It smells like a bottle of bleach. Oh. <laughs> That could be why. Okay. I kind of thought that bag on the end could be something. <laughs> Which one? This? No, that one. This one? Yeah. I don't know. I could be wrong. I was wrong. Unfortunately, you were wrong. Yeah, this is trash. Yeah, Gross. Okay. That is all trash. We did actually see a bleach bottle in there, but if you ever go up to a dumpster that smells really heavily of bleach, the store might have poured it all over the trash in the dumpster. Um, I haven't ever encountered that, but if you smell bleach really strong, that could be it. Uh, so yeah, nothing at that one. Uh, and I don't think that's what they did here. I really think that was just a spilled bottle of bleach in there, but just something to look out for. So, okay, we're gonna have to find some more spots. So we're moving on. Well, we're headed over to a Dollar Tree now. Um, it's kind of crazy because today we are in Birmingham. Tomorrow we should be in Mississippi. And then the next day, um, Louisiana. And then we're home. So it should be like maybe four days uh, until we're back in Denton, which is kind of wild. It's been, obviously it has been such an incredible trip. Like it's been pretty life changing, honestly. We're going back with like so much motivation and energy um, to just like work hard and, and pursue things that make us happy and to do a lot of creative projects and stuff like that. We definitely um, needed that. It's been a, a hard year for us, honestly. And so this has just been very rejuvenating. Um, it's been wonderful. And it's kind of gotten to the point now after eight weeks of being being on the road, um, we're both kind of ready to be home. Um, for a while there, when we first started this trip, it felt like 
I want to stay out on the road forever. Like neither of us wanted to go home. We were kind of dreading the idea of being back um, in Texas, in Denton. Thankfully, we're both kind of just like ready. Like it's kind of even weird that we're going to be out for four more days because um, we're only driving like a couple hours each day. So we probably could be home in a day and a half, but we're, we're choosing to stay out a little bit more so that we can dive in some more cities before we do get home. But I'm very excited that we're like in a place now where we're thrilled to go home and just like pursue things that we're passionate about. And so it's gonna be an exciting end of the year and then new year as well. Wow. <laughs> okay, I don't think we're actually gonna dive at this one, um, but I wanted to show y'all and come take a peek because this is pretty crazy. A lot of trash. People were definitely like going through it. Like there's little rip open holes and then like this looks like an illegal dump maybe because there's some random toiletries, corn cob. I know it's so messy. Like those aren't in there. Another corn on the cob. So wow. But it's pretty crazy. What's that? Uh. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe it's just an out of commission dumpster. Yeah, so like maybe now everyone just knows you can dump whatever here. <laughs> okay, well that was exciting. Uh, there's another dollar store up here that we're gonna go check now. Hmm, it's like a lot of these stores aren't, aren't in business. Here, yeah. yeah. This, we're not there yet. Yeah. The oh wow. You think that's it? it I see a lot of colorful things like. That's what I was yeah, there it is, Dollar Tree. So this is why we're so like adamant about picking up after yourself as dumpster divers and leaving the dumpsters better than you found them. This, um, I'm really surprised like they don't lock the dumpsters already if people leave it like this. What are those boxes on the top? Whoa. That is a lot. Look at that Himalayan salt. Let's take that. Oh, it's cut in two. Is yours? Yeah, they're both cut. Dang, that would have been nice. Well, I think we should leave these because if people dive here, you yeah, know. Yeah, especially since we're just headed back home. We're probably not gonna donate until we get home. So that looks good though. Look at that chocolate oatmeal, yum. So there, we'll leave some in there. Somewhere the other people left some right there. They must know, this store must know that people dive here for food, which if you knew and you're not locking the dumpsters, you could box it up and leave it right beside the dumpster if you want. Like people could grab it easier that way. If they would have the employees do that with like the expired foods or whatever they're gonna throw away, but that one's pretty crazy. <laughs> All right, we're leaving that oatmeal for someone else and we're moving on. All right, new store. Let's see. Okay, here's this. Some slime. Okay, still sealed. Hold on, I think Alex is seeing something over here. Many of these are still good. Oh. It's like they're whole, all of them look. Are these calendars? <laughs> oh my gosh. Some of those look okay. They might be oh my gosh. They got them shipped in these bags and they yeah, threw them right out. Really, you can at least take those because those are kind of stacked. Might be a little warped, but I kind of think they'd be fine. This one is not either fine. Oh, I bet those are okay. They're a little wet, but <laughs> look at that one. That's funny. Wow. I guess it's like the end of the year, so maybe. But like, I always think of these photos are like so beautiful. Like you could still. Yeah. Some a crafter or someone who uses papers 
like you know stuff yeah how cool my little cupcake <laughs> like throw the trash away Oh, sexy dumpster panties. <laughs> we'll put those right there. They look nice. <laughs> yeah, slime. Look at this. That, I mean, that's probably like 40 calendars. I'm gonna look another time. Oh, those are the ones we're taking too. We'll leave those on the top. Close this door up. And there we go. Not what we expected to find at all. I'm really surprised by all those calendars. Yeah. Because they looked like they were in that bag still that they were like shipped in. I wonder if it's just like the end of the year. They had gotten them shipped, never sold them, so I just threw them all away. I bet they're getting their 2023 calendars in. Oh, that's probably, probably very just true. Threw them away. But it's like I know, it's hard when dated things, they're like actually yeah, dated, I yeah. I kind of get it, but I also <laughs> do not respect it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. One shoe. Oh, I found a bag. You gotta help me. See that bloody axe? Uh -huh. That thing's full of costumes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Throw it in the back. Throw it in the truck. Oh my god. Okay, push it down. I gotta see, I think there might have been another. If there's another, I can't even believe that. Oh my god. I don't either. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh my god. Yeah, let's go. Let's leave. Oh my god. Y'all, if you can't see what's in there, these, both these bags filled, like it looks like they're 100% full with costumes in the bag, new in the bag costumes. Obviously, that's just my guess based off of what I can see as we're like first getting them out, but oh my gosh. <laughs> This could be like the Halloween haul of a lifetime. Okay, let's find somewhere and we'll rearrange it. Okay. Oh my gosh. So I don't want to open the bags up like crazy too much. But look, oh, here's a whole like nurse. These really are full in the bag. Oh my gosh. I want to do like a full 
like a separate video once we get home where you can go through and let them all out. Yes, like these it masks. Look at him. Oh my gosh. There's stanzos. There's stanzos. Wow. It's a bunch of masks. Y'all, yeah. this is absolutely the most Halloween stuff that we have ever found uh, dumpster diving. So we're going to set the camera up and just kind of organize the truck bed, get this stuff put away and secured so that we can get it back to Texas. This is unreal. Yeah. truck with a tarp over the stuff in the back. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think that has to be the last stop of the day. We need to end it on like a high note. That's unbelievable. We won't be able to lay it all out in this video to show y'all everything in there, but we absolutely will make that a part of a future video. Maybe it's when we get back to Denton, but we definitely want to show y'all because that's crazy. They're throwing out huge bags of the costumes because Halloween is over and they don't want to store them until next year or some of them were returned to the store. There's tons of reasons why other than the fact that these actually are trash and need to go into the landfill. And so I just, it's crazy when you see it like this and know that that's happening in tons of stores, tons of states, everywhere all the time. That many useful items are going to the landfill. It's really crazy. So I'm so glad that we stopped there. So glad that we got to rescue those. That was an awesome dive. We're gonna uh, go ahead and just check into our hotel now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Happy diving and we'll see you next time. Bye!